Well, how do the chums? As I'm Captain Steven today, chums, for you guys out there inside of the Viewoverse, I have got an awesome base that I want to showcase to you, and this is built by Boyd Gaming. Boyd Gaming made me the Boyd Zoid, which was one of my favourite bases inside of my normal mode. We're actually in creative mode right now, chums, and I'm hitting up this base portal code. So let me just activate this little wheel of freaking icons, and we're about done, delete, and done. Right, eh? Now here we go. We're going to punch in the code i'm going to read out the code now this is in creative mode inside of euclid so here we go let's hit on in the code the first four digits are diplo eagle black hole diplo the next four sunday set we've got ourselves a diplo a black hole and a whale. Yes, well. Next four digits. Here we go. We've got ourselves a voxel or cube. We've got ourselves one of these flux capacitor Y-shaped things. An eclipse and a whale. Awesome. The code has all been inputcated. And it is now activated. Mondo. Chicka boom boom. Chicka pow pow. Right here. I'm going to go jump on in there. Yes, not all that inviting, isn't it? Big swelling blue mass of electricity. But that aside, we have arrived located on planet Nebgan. It's our last planet, discovered by GTD Carthage. Yes, but that's not who hit up this base. Like I say, it was Boyd Gaming. I'm looking for his base marker in this lovely yellow sky and green grass lush. But no, now, oh, there it is. I think that's it there. There we go. Helms Keep is the base name by Boyd Gaming. Heck yes, locked in. Now let's go jump in my ship and we're going to fly on over to this base and take a look-see. Now, Boyd is quite a big builder inside of the No Man's Sky community. If you haven't come across Boyd Gaming, he's fantastic. I met him at the uh, Guildford meetup as well. In real life, the guy's awesome. Very, very cool. We did a pub quiz together. Did we win? No. Did we even come close to winning? No, but it was freaking fun. Right, let's head on over here. Now, I'm flying in quite slowly. And hopefully, it's all going to render in quite nicely. It looks like it's all there. From the actual picture he sent me, anyway. Okay, right. Brilliant. Oh, fudge and heck. Where'd that pop in from? Pinball? Right, let's just fly down this way. You know what? There's a staircase here. Let's start down at the foot of the base, and we'll slowly work our way up through this, like, city that Boyd has nestled against this mountain. Yeah, so the quiz that we partake in, it it was all about Waking Titan and also about the developers, like how many developers are in the team, what was the art developer's name, blah, blah, blah. Not much to do with actual in-game stuff, you know, like how do you create friggin', I don't know, magnetised ferrite or something. You know, there was nothing like that. So it was all sort of outside world, real lifey type stuff. So yeah, I didn't fare too well because remembering places, names and dates just doesn't work for me. Right, so let's head on up here. And oh, now this is looking freaking awesome. I love those sort of little metal sort of balustrades sticking out the staircase with the singular light on. Really adds and really sort of stitches this together as quite a unique looking build. I know it's something quite simple, but look, it's, it's extended all the way along the edges. Oh, talking of the, the edges, there's quite a lot of sort of terrain creep here. It looks like the terrain is sort of taken over parts, but I don't know whether that's done purposely. I'm liking these little stands. So I'd imagine he'd have all of his little sort of NPC dudes along here, like a little marketplace type front. I'm loving that idea. That's really quite cool, like a little bazaar. Very nice. I like the use of the boxes as well, so people along here could actually harvest stuff as they go along, making it a little bit more interactive. Very cool. You're thinking of your visitors. I like it. And, oh, oh, we've had an avalanche. We've got an avalanche here, Boyd. It looks like um, there's a little bit... Uh, maybe you've just done this for aesthetics, though. You know, it does look freaking awesome. So let's head on up this way. Let's head on up the staircase. I think we've seen pretty much everything on this level. Let's just go into camera mode. And let's get ourselves an image for a thumbnail for the video. Holy fudge. Now I can see the actual scale of this thing. This is, this is massive. I'm pulling back and there's just more and more there. Okay, that's a perfect thumbnail type picture. Very nice. Whoops, I shouldn't have moved that. That looked actually really good where it was. Okay, that'd have to do. Fantastic. Thumbnail image taken. 
Okay, that jumps. Now, hopefully, I'm seeing everything as per design. But looking at the side here, you can see there's quite a lot of foliage added. So attention to detail is quite high. Now, there are areas of this base where attention to detail seems to drop off slightly. And I'm wondering whether I'm not seeing everything that should be here. It's like those balustrades to the left haven't got the little lights on and uh, things like that. So there's subtle hints that perhaps I'm not seeing everything as it should be. But I think I'm getting the general idea and general gist of what's been placed here. Now I am on PS5 and I'm finding that when I go to bases with say Scottish Rod and he's on PS4 Pro, he sees a lot more than I see on PlayStation 5. So what I would say is what you're seeing here is probably the basic of build. So if you come here maybe on PlayStation Pro, you might see a heck of a lot more than what I'm seeing here. I mean, at the moment I see a pumpy plant in there and I don't see much else inside of there. And I don't know whether that's by design or whether I'm, you know, it, you, see, you see what I'm saying. There's areas here that look a little bit sparse and then there's parts that look super detailed, like here. Look at that. How cool is that? That's freaking awesome. Nice one, boy. This is looking great. Oh, look, there's a staircase going up there. I would have missed that. Okay, cool. Why don't we going to head on up? The stack guys, and we're going to see the next level of this build. So we're working our way up inside one of these towers. Very cool. Oh, I like your flat panel TV. That is freaking massive. Imagine playing No Man's Sky on that. Heck yes, that'll be freaking epic, like a cinema. Okay, right, well, let's head on up even further. I like the fireplace. I love the double bed. This is looking really tidy, Mr. Boyd. I'm liking this build a lot. Very cool. And the storm seems to be ingressing indoors as well as outdoors. Oh, wow. Look at the views from this. This is all about the views. This base is all about the views. I mean, look at this. Let's just pop into camera mode. Let's just take it out the window and let's have a better look at how far up I am now. Okay. Now that is pretty awesome. I like the patterns on the ceilings down there as well, of the actual, well, well, the roofs, I should say, of the actual builds. I mean, look at that. That's really cool. That's very nice. It looks like someone's gone crazy with a spirograph. Very awesome. Oh, wow. That is epic, isn't it? I mean, look at that. I love that sort of like bit that juts out the side there. I'm going to have to walk down there and check out the views from that direction as well. Very nice, very cool, and oh, I'm sport for choice for freaking thumbnails now, aren't I? That'll make a perfect thumbnail image as well. Nice one, Boyd. This is a beautiful planet. Perfect placement. Very well built. As always, when it comes to your builds, Boyd, you're freaking epic. Heck yes, you are. People, towards the end of this video, I'm going to be dropping a link to uh, Boyd's actual channel. But yeah, I'm also going to put it in the video description, so be sure to go check out Boyd. Awesome base builder. Some great ideas inside of the verse and he's always up for helping people and doing things and stuff like that he's a great guy i really like boyd a lot there's a lot of good things to say about this community and boyd is one of the most upstanding members you're going to find out there well this is a beautiful planet when there aren't any storms and this is a beautiful freaking base boyd this is so cool i mean i don't see a staircase going up to that area but yes i could actually fly up there if i want and i may fly over to these ones because at the moment they're not rendering in for me so let's just go over here and let's exit out onto the roof let's be a little bit naughty let's do a little bit of freaking free running here we go lovely jubbly parkour hardcore and let's just jump all the way over to here with my parkour skills ha ha parkour steve Yep, awesome. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I love the way that the arches are sort of formed there as well. I really like what you've done with the fireplaces and the roof caps of these too. Really does add to it, doesn't it? I bet it looks freaking awesome at night. Yeah, so there we go. Boyd Epic Base, freaking excellent. And now, if you people out there in view of us, if you want to visit Boyd's channel, it's a link, and I'll put it up there. Go take a look, see, because it's freaking awesome. Yes, it does a lot of content, and Boyd, your freaking mind blowing base. Heck yes, really cool. I loved every moment of it. So, yeah, hopefully, people out there in the view of us, come and take a look, see. This is in creative mode, it's in Euclid. You got the code earlier on. And yeah, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add froze revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.